Lesson 12, Polynomials, Complex Roots. Example 12. We have to solve z cubed plus 1 equals 0 for all z. As you can see, this is a polynomial of degree 3, so there will be three uh, solutions. Um, and because the, all the coefficients are real, uh, those solutions will come in conjugate pairs. And we'll take, um, we'll just factorise this first. And write this way, we'll write that as z plus 1 times z squared minus z plus 1 equals 0. And straight away we can set the first root with z equals negative 1. So to solve this one, we use the quadratic formula. And we'll say that z is equal to, and this will be 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4, all over 2 which becomes 1 plus or minus i root 3 all over 2. So the three roots are minus 1, 1, plus, one on 2 plus i root 3 on 2 and 1 on 2 minus i root 3 on 2. And there you'll see the, the conjugate pair. Now I'll, sol I'll solve this a different way. Right, and we'll transpose that one across the other side, and we get that z cubed equals negative 1. Now, I'll write that in the uh, uh, polar form of a complex number. So z cubed is equal to, this will be the cos of pi plus i sine of pi, because we know the sine of pi is 0, and the cos of pi is minus 1. We we'll take the cube root to both sides, we get that as the cos of pi plus the i sine of pi all raised to the third. And using the marvelous theorem, we get that's the cos of pi upon 3 plus i sine pi upon 3. Or if you like, this is of pi upon 3. Now, if we actually look at the Argon diagram of that one, we get this situation. I'll just draw that. bit rough isn't it? Okay, so that's going to be 60 degrees is going to be up there somewhere is our solution. And of course that's one of our other, other roots from the previous one that would be the that was your, that's your half and that's your i root 3 on 2. And there's your pi up on 3. So there's the Cartesian and this is the polar form. Uh, now remember the other one was uh, d down here as a half that was a half minus i root 3 on 2. And the other one, remember, was just your minus 1 over here. Minus one. Now you notice here that they're, they're all equally spaced around the unit circle. And this angle here is going to be 2 pi upon 3. So what we could easily do, once we've got one solution, we just simply add on 2 pi upon 3 to each of these and pick up the other solutions. So that would mean that this one here, the cos uh, pi upon 3, this one here would be, the other one would be equal to the cos of minus pi upon 3 plus i sine of minus pi upon 3. And of course, adding on, adding on this 2 pi upon 3, this one, that's simply going to make it a cos of pi plus i sine of pi. And I'll give you the, the three solutions just by equally spacing on the circle. And we go through and we could we could check out um, by putting in various values of, of of pi in there to get these solutions, but it's easier to, to realise these will be equally spaced around the circle and then just get one solution and move around to pick up the others. And you can also change it those back in the Cartesian form quite easily as well. Okay, now we're going to solve z cubed minus 1 equals 0. Now, what I'll do here, I can, I'll do it the algebraic way to begin with, and I'll show you the very fast technique using 
the Marvis theorem method. So this is going to be z minus 1 times z squared plus z plus 1 equals 0. So z equals 1 is a solution and z equals minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus or all over 2. So z equals minus a half plus or minus i root 3 over 2. Now, he's put them around the unit circle. There's your 1. All right. And then these guys go across the other side. So you're going to have a, a minus a half up here. There's your minus a half i root 3 on 2 up there. And then down here you've got the other dude. Minus a half minus i root 3 on 2 there. All equally spaced around the unit circle. Because this is a power of 5, then it would be just simply 2 pi upon 5 all the way around, which we'll look at some of those a bit later on. Now, <coughs> so we're going to do it the, uh, the marvelous thing way. All we need to do is get our first little one here, z equals 1, which is pretty obvious. z equals 1, and we can see that um, you've got first one will be equal to the cos of z1 equals the cos of 0 plus i to the sine of 0. Z2 will be the cos of 2 pi upon 3 plus i sine 2 pi upon 3. And the other one, the third one, is equal to the cos of minus 2 pi upon 3 plus i sine minus 2 pi upon 3. Or if you want to use the cis form, it will be cis 0, cis 2 pi upon 3, and C is minus 2 pi upon 3. And these are called the cube roots of unity. Now, the, the thing is, you can always quite easily transfer them again back from here into the Cartesian form without factorizing. It just depends what, what the examiner wants. He wants it in the CIS form, you use, use this form, or the Cartesian form, go back and use the other technique.